Yes. 840 on your hometown station, KHTS. It's the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. We are only weeks away from one of the biggest events here in the Santa Clarita Valley. It is the 4th of July parade that runs down Main Street, Old Town, New Hall, all over really the New Hall area. Did I say New Hall? <laughs> all over the New Hall area. <laughs> And uh, it's one of the funner events. You were announced the parade last year. Are you going to go? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm announcing it with you. Oh, yeah, there you go. See uh, see what I did? I kind of set you up a little bit? I got you. Thanks. Here in studio to join us. Sure. To talk about said event. Yes. Linda Storley. Yes. The runner of this, leader of this, captain of this. Chief. Chief of this. President. President. CEO. I don't know about CEO. Chief financial officer. Probably not the CFO. Big cheese? Let's ask her. Linda, what is your title? <laughs> now you got me confused. I'm, I'm not really sure what my title is. I think I'm the chair of the 4th of July Parade. We personally like big cheese. Uh, big cheese sounds good to me. Big cheese was good. Linda that makes Storley. me hungry, so <laughs> let's not talk about that. Linda Storley, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. The 4th of July is coming up, and that's my favorite holiday, so I'm excited. You have chaired this uh, parade for at least 20 years, haven't you? I think it's 25, but we'll go with 20. Well, t- 20 plus, and you've announced it. I've announced for, it for, for longer. Forever. We're looking at the 86th annual. Yeah, I actually thought there were more. I knew that, that we had started and then stopped, and we stopped two years during the war, which I'm not quite sure why, because actually that was before I was born. Not many things happened before I was born, but that is. So we stopped two years during World War II. There are so many people who lend a hand to put this together. Would you say hundreds of volunteers? What would you say? I would say I would come closer to a thousand volunteers. Whoa. Because I count the people that's in the parade. Sure. That that are part of like uh, a charity. They Mm -hmm. volunteer to the charity. They volunteer to the parade and they volunteer to be out there. So we've got, I'd say a thousand volunteers. That's amazing. This is one of the largest parades in a small community in the entire nation, is it not? Yes, I'm going to, I will bleep out the, the, uh, the letters of the television network that called me and said that we were the largest small town parade in the country, and that was news. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Storley, you cracked me up. This year, we have uh, the theme, the 2018 theme is, it's a grand old flag. Yes. It's a grand old flag. I won't sing anymore, I promise. Please, I'm sorry. I, when I, I sing, know. people cry. So, I know, me so, too. Me no, too. Yeah, Maybe we should sing together. No, it's bad. Okay. It's bad. Uh, <laughs> it's a grand old fa- flag is the theme. And who's Grand Marshal? We have um, Fred Trueblood the third, and he has been announcing forever. He announces with Tammy Edwards, and he's done that long before Tammy Edwards and is still doing it today, but he's going to not be announcing this year because he's going to actually be riding in our, in our top position. He gets a float. He gets a float. He gets a float this year. He gets a float. Good or, for Fred. Or a f- horse or whatever I can get him into or on. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be actually in not announcing the parade. That's right. Dedicated this year to the memory of Bobby Trueblood Davis. Yes, and there you see a connection. Uh, that's actually Fred's mother, and she was a founding uh, mother of this community, if you will. She was um, part of the local newspaper and uh, just did amazing things. And then she married uh, Senator Ed Davis and went on from there doing wonderful things from wherever she was. I have to tell you, it is a fun, fun, fun event. But not only is it fun, it just seems like when I... This will be my third year announcing. This year, Kyle and I will be doing it together. The the people who usually sit around us just are the nicest of nice. And we just have the best time. And I don't know them. You know, usually I don't know them. And they're not, you know, close friends. It's just community. Uh, and we have just the best time laughing and giggling and announcing uh, the parade and throwing, you know, confetti and whatever else is going on. You know, obviously drinking a lot of water sometimes a little, a little warm, a little warm. Yeah. Uh, but we just have the best time. Do you have that where you're sitting too? First, first, I get so excited and I get um, I'm very patriotic. So they bring the colors by and I cry. 
and then they play the national anthem and I cry. Mm -hmm. So it starts out, it sounds sad, but it's not. It's just because I'm really, really proud. Then the people around you are just, I mean, again, I don't know them. But there's a feeling of community. I have announced from every spot on the parade over the last 30 years. And the people that sit around you, it's just, it's their town. Yeah. This, is, this is our town. And there's not many cities that are the size of Santa Clarita that have a parade that makes people feel like one. And this one actually does it. And people get so excited and the kids get excited. And just a reminder, we don't throw anything from the parade. No confetti, no silly string, no candy, which sounds like such a good thing. But then the kids run out into the parade and then they're in the parade route. And that's not good. But you can bring a cooler and have it next to your side. Absolutely. Absolutely. What you can't do is throw things back and forth. July 4th. That's the date. Is your favorite holiday. Yes. Why is that? What Other than you being so patriotic, why is... Because if, if you, you know, normally you ask someone, what's your favorite holiday? Well, my birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Yeah. You go right to July 4th. Yeah. Unfortunately, my birthday and Christmas are about the same day. So that was a, that was a wash there. Um, it just seemed like a time when family got together when I was young and when a community gets together and neighbors get together and on my block we have uh there's like barbecues on the street and people get excited and watch whatever uh displays we can we live on the top of a hill it it seems like it brings people together and that's why i like it plus it's just it's just there's n no downside to the 4th of July parade. There's no downside to the 4th of July. No matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, no matter who you like and who you don't like, we all like the 4th of July parade. And if we don't, we probably shouldn't be here. Right? Did I say we that out all, loud? We all, <laughs> if you, 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 you said it was your out, out, outside voice. Uh -huh. Listen, uh, we all, I think pretty much we all love america the, like you said on what whatever side you're on fourth of july brings us together we start celebrating at nine in the morning we don't finish until the the finale of the fireworks and so it's an all-day thing there is nothing more fun than a good old block party with some barbecue going in the neighborhood and getting everybody out it's just there's nothing like it so you are absolutely right is there anything we need to know. It starts at 9 o'clock, yes. but parking can be a little bit of a bear, so get here early. Parking can be, and and people that are dropping off their children, mm -hmm. um, you're going to drop them off at the front of the parade, and please pick them up at Placerita Junior High this year so the kids don't walk back across the two-mile track. And if you have a hooved animal, please uh, drop it off at Hart Park and take your vehicle that you bring your hooved animal in hooved that's fun to say hooved <laughs> it is very it's a lot hoofed, of fun hoofed um <laughs> those uh, horse trailers have to be parked on 16th street to pick up your horses besides that it, it's about safety and fun and and whooping it up and i love to see the kids get all wide-eyed and excited and then this is the best thing to hear can i be in the parade sometime and then that's how it goes on. My granddaughter is going to be in the parade this year with the California Rangers. And that's how we move it on from generation to generation. It seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. I think it is. We've got about 25,000 people that actually watch the parade. And then more people watch excerpts of the parade from KHTS, from the TV station. Uh, and it's just, and the, the signal's doing wonderful stuff this year. So... We're looking forward to a parade that everybody should know about. It's amazing how many times you talk to people and, and they say, what are you doing, whatever. And I say, I'm the 4th of July parade. It's kind of my thing. And they go, we have a parade? We have a parade? I said, how long have you lived here? 12 years? Yes, we have a parade. <laughs> Every year for 80, we, you did the math, 80 86, some, 86 mm -hmm. six years. And it's something that if you have small children, they'll love it. It's not so long. We moved the time up from 10 to 9 a few years ago, so it's not so hot at that time. And take your kids and let them know how wonderful it is to be an American and to get that that patriotic spirit going and then when you're done on the fifth we can go back to being divided and fighting each other but hopefully never over uh, the love that we have for our country very well said linda storley the what what's one of the best parts of the parade this year 
Um, could it be maybe Tori and one of your favorite it, students ever it, uh, it, announcing uh, here? Uh, uh, somebody named Kyle and Tori. Never heard of them. Could, ne- never heard could, of them. Could, could, that, could be, <laughs> that, that could be the best part of the parade. Of course, I announced just before you, so I don't get to hear you announce, but I get to hear it later on in the day. Oh, Linda Story, it, it's always a pleasure to have you in studio. We have such a good time, and uh, and and. Yeah couple of weeks it's here july 4th yeah any questions is there a website oh, that our listeners can go to please go to the website it's www.scvparade.com excellent everything you want to know and many things you didn't want to know uh <laughs> there's rules there about stallions and gilded horses that that i try to understand and never mind but well take what you need leave yeah, what you don't that's exactly right, right? please please go to the website uh it will tell you where to park how to get here how to walk if you're walking what to do with your kids and and it's just a a good place to go for information and they may also call me on my telephone what 661-313-8960 my students had it for 30 years my students never misused it a parent or two maybe (laughs) <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for all the information. We will talk to you again. I know you'll be coming back in the afternoon uh, this week or next week and talk to Aaron in the afternoon and let all our afternoon listeners know all about what we need to know about the 4th of July parade. Can't wait. It's going to be another beautiful one this year. Linda Storley, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Thank-